Welcome to the Politicad Tip of the Month. This month, the status bar. When you select an object in Politicad, you can see the name and size in the status bar. If you select a number of objects, you can see the total size of the group. If you select many objects at the same time and then move the mouse over them, you can see which object the mouse is hovering over in the bottom left. You can then, for example, copy or delete individual objects from the table. You can also use the status bar to see the installation height of objects, like this vase for example, and therefore also the height of the object that it's sitting on. If you select an object from the front view, you will also see the object's distance from the wall. The status bar can also show you the number of objects selected, so that you can check if you've missed something or selected something extra. Another nice feature of the status bar is that it tells you what will happen if you click the left or right mouse button. In this example, we split a wall covering with the shortcut B and then right click to keep both cut pieces. Here we've used it to create a strip behind the radiator. Another feature of the status bar is the cog in the bottom right. If it's spinning, this means that the search index is not yet complete and that all of your objects and materials are not yet available in your catalogues. Next to the cog you can find the units that you're currently planning in. And if you have an extra construction level set in the front, you can also display the heights of this. The current selection mode is also displayed in the status bar. Whether you're working with leaf pick or edge selection, you can be certain of the current set mode. As you can see, the status bar is a really helpful tool. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay inspired.